Good afternoon. In a tragic period on South Australian roads, in a 48 hour period, from Saturday afternoon until Sunday night, three people lost their lives on South Australian roads. The first uh, person at about 3pm on Saturday was a 69 year old cyclist from Norton Summit. He tragically lost his life when he was hit by a van on the Augusta Highway at Red Hill. A 20 year old man lost his life while he was walking on the carriageway um, at Stirling North near Port Augusta and uh, unfortunately at about 8.30 last night at Pompuda near Murray Bridge a 17 year old male motorcycle rider lost his life when he was hit by a utility. I would ask anybody that uh, had dash cam or may have witnessed anything on the Augusta Highway whether it be Saturday afternoon at 3pm or whether it was the 6.30 event that occurred on Sunday to please come forward or alternatively contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 33 000. Clearly my heart goes out to the people who were affected by these tragedies and I would reinforce the message that we want people to be safe on our roads so please be responsible, do the right thing and again if you can assist police with their inquiries particularly in relation to the hit run with the pedestrian. We are reviewing a number of um, cameras at the moment we do know the vehicles that were travelling in both directions around the, t around the time that the life was lost. So if you're aware that you've been involved in a collision with that pedestrian, come forward because it's only a matter of time and we'll be coming to speak to you. Chris, how concerning are these deaths over the past is it 36 hours? Look, any death on our roads is concerning, um, but it's particularly concerning when we lose three people in such a short period of time, particularly when two of those people are vulnerable road users, that is a cyclist, and the pedestrian. Uh, just with the teenage motorbike rider, do you have any details around what happened in that crash? Look, he was hit by a utility. As a result of that, the driver of the, of the utility has been charged with aggravated due care. <clears throat> and so you say you're confident that finding the driver involved in the hit run? Is that a we're reviewing that. We know every vehicle that was on that road in both directions around that time. So we're reviewing all the footage, we're doing our inquiries, and as I said, if you knowingly were involved in that collision, my advice to you is come forward. Why do you, why do you give that advice then if you already know who it is? I'd, I said we're reviewing our line of inquiry, so we're reviewing the vehicles that are on that road. It would be a lot easier for everybody if the person is knowingly involved that they come forward to police rather than the police have to attend their premises and take action. Well, if you're involved in a collision, you've got a statutory responsibility to stop in any event. But if you're involved in, involved in a collision where somebody is seriously injured or worse, then it is inhumane for you not to stop and render assistance. Given that there was a, the cars, cyclists and, and motorbike riders involved in these separate incidents, what is your overall message to, to road users to be careful about you know, things happening given such a, such a, uh, I guess, a dense number of fatalities so recently? Look, my overall message is that people just need to be responsible when they use our road network. We want people to be safe on our roads, but it's not something that SAPOL can control. Every person that uses the roads in any capacity, whether you're a driver, a rider, a pedestrian, you have to take a responsibility and you have to do the right thing on the roads as well. So collectively, we can keep people safe. Lives lost currently is 47 compared to 43 this time last year. So clearly, it's not where we want it to be. How concerning is that for police? Look, it's, it's always concerning. And it's concerning because most of the lives that are lost on our road are avoidable. They result in coll from collisions that are totally avoidable. And the consequences for the families involved is catastrophic. Um, and nobody likes to see that. So we've had the three fatalities over this weekend. Have there been many other injuries? There's been serious injuries, yes. Can you us through those? Oh, I haven't got the, the specific details, but I can tell you there's been a number of serious injuries over the weekend as well, which also have significant consequences quite often, particularly in terms of quality of life. You would see firsthand, particularly when young people were involved, the devastating impact on parents. To deliver that message must be horrific. Look, it's difficult for all emergency services. As I said, my heart goes out to everybody involved in the recent fatalities on our roads, but uh, clearly it is catastrophic for families, for work colleagues, for communities quite often. Uh, and that's something that people just need to take note of.
do you think that more needs to be done, especially around the uh, young motorcyclists on the roads in, in terms of safety and preventative measures? Uh, well, the, there's, just, there's been a, a number of statutory amendments recently with the driver licence, um, graduated licensing scheme for motorbikes, so I'd be hopeful that they'll have positive road safety outcomes. Thank you. Thank you.